everyone welcome to the newspaper review here on tap tv hey your comments my name like you know this is where we make analysis regarding headlines that are making rounds on a newspaper and it was it was interesting to know that i have two lovely ladies in our midst today to actually uh, analyze the papers that are making around this very day now to my left i have Anthony Aluchupo. Okay, how are you today, Anthony? I'm fine, I'm good. Okay, it's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for coming around. Now to my right, I have another lovely lady. What's your name? Betty Yosendo. Okay, how are you today? I'm all right. And how is the country generally, as well, a person? We are manager. Okay, <laughs> yeah, God is helping us. All right, just like I earlier said, my name is Ayoke. Okay, now let's hit to the headlines and see what the headline has for us quickly. First on our headline, we're considering the vanguard. And the board headline here says, Police invite NLC president over terrorism financing. Details of that is found on page 16. And now still on the vanguard, substory under the vanguard says on page 9, how I am winning war against corruption. Now this is coming from our dearest president, Bola and Metinibu. Now the bold headline here says on the vanguard, TSA, fresh panic as federal government de demands 50% of aviation agencies review. You can revenue, I mean to say, details of that is found on page 5. And lastly, we're taking page 9, it says, NNPC post 3.3 trillion net profit, clears 2.1 trillion division. Details of that is found on page 8. Hey there, are you looking to record your videos, do your voiceovers and take your professional pictures? Look no further with our state-of-the-art newsroom, photography, Kitchen for our food content creators and exclusive children's studio, we certainly can deliver the best studio experience. Our carefully designed studio space can bring your diverse creative content ideas to life. We aim to consistently serve value to our customers far and wide. Come, let Tharv Media give life to your dreams. Tharv Media, a slice of infotainment. All right, so welcome back from that very quick break. Now, over to you, Antonio Luchuku. We are seeing on page 16 here of the Vanguard, it says police invites NLC president over terrorism financing. What's your take as a Nigerian toward um, ter uh, terrorism generally before we get to address uh, our NLC president? Um, terrorism, terrorism. Um, I'll just say that. The country has made corruption okay. a thing for themselves. Like, mm -hmm. they are not making corruption like a regular thing. They make it look like it's a norm okay. in the country. Mm. So if if corruption is like that, definitely terrorism is not going to be anything to them. Okay. So um, they feel like those people who are involved or partake in terrorism, mm -hmm. they know that whatever they do, they can get away with it. Okay. You get. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually say, unfortunately for those who are being caught, um maybe they didn't play their cards well or something okay. like that so okay. they are able to get get away with whatever they do and the ones who are able to get away with those things i feel like they are, have a strong pillar okay. backing them up for what okay. they do, do okay. you get because if terrorism wants to be eradicated in this country it mm. can be eradicated okay. It because can be. It can mm, be. Yes, All it right. can. Okay, now I am yeah, oh, I nearly call you baby girl. <laughs> uh, all right, now, surely uh, terrorism can be eradicated from your own angle. Yeah. Now, let's talk to you, uh, Virtue. Now, do you think, just like what uh, Antonio Luchuku just said, mm -hmm. do you think um, it is possible to actually take away um, terrorism, corruption from our DNA? Because it looks as if this is something that Nigerians are known for. Do you think this uh, issue of corruption and terrorism can be taken off? Yes, it's possible. But I think if that happens, it has to be a collective effort. Okay. It's not something that we just sit back and say, okay, let the government do something. Okay. Everyone has to. Like, there's mm. this saying that uh, corruption starts from your pocket, right? Okay, surely, surely. So there is, we have to, like, there has to be this collective effort. People should take certain measures okay. to ensure that it decreases. Though it might not be possible to completely eradicate it, okay. because not just Nigeria, we mm. a lot of other countries as well. Yeah, actually corrupt. Yeah, but it's possible to reduce it. Okay, so but uh, just like you said, other countries are, are corrupt, but Nigerians are the ones backing them up, sorry <laughs> to say. Now, coming back to this particular headline, police invite NLC president over terrorism financing. Now, it is quite, it is quite funny, I must say, that our NLC president, his name is it's actually been mentioned for financing terrorism. What, what's your take re regarding this headline? I just feel like... Um, 
Is this the is this the work of the EFCC or the okay. Nigerian police? Okay, uh, okay, okay. At this point, um, our Nigerian police force have a right to some extent to actually call forth a person. They they, they are currently running an investigation, though. On what exactly? Okay, uh, that. <laughs> I want to know: Is it on the already done protest okay. or on the terrorism that was going on for years okay. that they are running an investigation okay. for? Because I really want to know what the investigation is all about before bringing in the NLC into the picture. Okay. So, so you're, 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 you're of the opinion that um, uh, they should actually give a clear reason why they're, yes, they're, they're dragging them. you don't just wake up one morning and you start going for investigation. Okay, now, now in their words exactly, they, they, they stated it clearly that, okay, they, they are currently carrying out an investigation, uh, uh, general investigation that, that has to do with um, some external body that is currently affecting the democracy of Nigeria. Okay. That's to say, um, when it comes to the act, the criminal act in Nigeria's nation, Nigeria, we have some external forces. So now, uh, having to tackle these external forces, they are, uh, one of the measures they are taking is, they said, uh, from, from, from the report gotten, they said um, uh, the NLC president's name was actually mentioned during this time of investigation. As, and as that a is body why. Financing the terrorism. Yes, as a body financing the, the terrorism. So now, the, the, the big question is is it, is it not actually funny that um, our NLC, the workforce of the nation, the president's name is being mentioned in cases like this? I just feel like what they are trying to do is crumble the efforts okay. people are trying to, you understand, to put up to eradicate whatever it is that we are going through in this okay. country. That's what they are just trying with all means because the NSA have fought so far to come to the point that we've got okay. a minimum wage. Okay. And if they find any means to give them a bad name, mm. they would do so. Okay. I feel like that's what they are trying to do because mm -hmm. you don't just wake up one morning and you and you start an investigation just like that. If you're talking about terrorism, start from the government, the okay. same government itself. They are the ones terrorizing us. Okay. Okay. Do you get? Okay. They are the ones terrorizing us. Not going to NLC, okay, which people are involved that mention the NLC's okay. president's name? Do you get? Uh, okay. That's what I want to understand. And for the fact that I also got information that they went as far as raiding mm, their yeah, institution yeah. Obviously. and to the point of arresting some of their staffs mm. and making away with documents mm. with what warrants? Okay. It's illegal to just barge into people's property and take things. Obviously. Take clothes into your own hands Obviously. without a warrant. And now you're not because of that. Yeah. Okay. Now you you you're calling him for an investigation when you've already taken the wrong step. Okay. If you were to be other such of person like our senior president, I am sure. Okay. Or he kept wearing mask. The FCT president. I am sure that they will sue the police for what they did. Okay. Because Obviously. it's illegal to go into people's establishments. And start raiding their yeah. place. Okay. And start raiding their properties yeah. without a written warrant. Okay. Giving to you, ordering you or from the court, ordering you to do what you want, mm. do that yeah. which you did. Sorry. And then you're calling him to find investigation. Who would go for such kind of investigation? Okay. I don't uh, understand. Obviously. I'll come back to you now, um, uh, Virtue now. Regarding our, our attitude, now I, I want you to actually analyze the attitude of our, our, our workforce, the Nigerian police force how did they get to operate. Now, just like what she said, I, I feel most times our Nigerian police force don't, don't get to follow due process when it comes to arresting. You, you, you take for a very common instance, they, 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 they are actually bashed to a particular compound, they are looking for one person, but they get to arrest everybody. Yeah. Now, do you think it's actually healthy for, for the Nigerian police force to be carrying out such acts? Picking it from this angle now. Normally, you would say, okay, it is not right mm. for them to do that. But in certain cases, there are certain measures that have to be taken for investigation to okay. be carried out. Sometimes sure. they may have to cross the line. Okay. I'm not saying what they did is right or what mm -hmm. they are doing is right. But I'm only saying that in some cases, it's understandable. Okay. Normally, breaking into someone's house, for example, we know that it's wrong. But there are certain investigations that need to take place that will warrant that. Okay. And that's if that is the only way mm. such information can be gotten, or that is the only way the investigation mm. can, can take actually place, take place, then it is understandable. It is actually healthy. Now, I'll actually point it back to you. Now, what if, um, take for instance, they, they have an open hand that, uh, that is actually linked to this case now? Would they have so, someone in the higher mighty, like yeah. the, the higher position? Do you think our, our police force will actually budge into their premises to, to actually carry out these investigations. Mm, 
if I'm going to be really sincere, they wouldn't. Okay. Even though they are supposed to do it like that, they're supposed to treat everyone equally, equally right? before the law. But okay. As it is in Nigeria, mm. we know that they wouldn't. Okay. They would never do that. Okay. So which still brings which still brings back to the fact that they are wrong for what they did. Okay. You don't barge into someone's institution. This is a whole body. Mm. Do you understand? This is a whole body governing the country. Okay. Just like you have different tiers of government. Obviously. You get the NLC. The NLC is like the masses. Obviously. You get you don't just yeah, the workforce. Yes. Before you carry out, out such kind of investigation or such kind of uh, um, a task, mm. you go through due process. Obviously. Because if the NLC were to sue the Nigerian police to court, mm. they would have to face charges Obviously. for what they did. Sure. Because now, okay, you imagine you finish raiding the institution, mm. you arrested took, some persons, arrested personnel, mm. and you took also took documents. in documents. Now, with those, you still didn't even get what you wanted. Mm. Now, you, you're not calling the NLC president for an investigation, mm -hmm. which should be the first thing mm. you should have done, done calling okay. him in for investigation before any other thing. Mm. So, it's, it, for me, they didn't follow due process. They yeah. feel like the power vested in them makes them misbehave or do whatever they want to do. Oh. They are the corruption itself. Okay. Yes, that's so, just it. All right, now I'll, I'll actually um, ask this very sincere question. Is it actually right for uh, our, uh, our NLCs, the body, to, uh, to actually protest? Because of late now, they are, they are planning a, a protest against um, the release, uh, uh, against the uh, allegedly um, claim on their president, saying the, the police were not right. Now, the, the police, on their own angle, they, they, they are actually sorry for actually raiding that environment. I don't and think they are. No, they, 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 they sincerely accepted the Because fault. if they are, they will be threatening the NLC president. If he doesn't show up for an okay. investigation, so they, they are going to get a warrant for his okay. arrest. Okay. They are not sorry for their act. Oh, right, all right. Obviously, I, 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 we were not certain about that aspect. But the part of, um, of our NLC wanting to protest against, against um, our Nigerian police force, do you think it's actually healthy? reasons to go for the protest mm. not just them because if they can do this to them that means they can do this to any other person okay below status quo okay i think they can do that to any other person if they can go as far as doing what they did to nlc okay do you get me okay. they can go as far as doing that to any other person so mm. if protesting is going to make nigerian police mm. go back to track and follow the due process and process. the constitution then they should go for it okay now um i'll, I'll come to you now uh, at, at this point do you think Ha having um, look at the, the background story be behind how these investigations are being carried out, do you think it is okay for uh, uh, Comrade Joe to actually respond to um, the invitation by the Nigerian police force uh, prior to the fact that they, they didn't follow a uh, due process in ca carrying out the search in his office in Abuja? Do you think you as a person, do, will you actually honor that invitation? Well, Because they, they, they actually threatening him now that if he doesn't uh, accept the invitation now, they'll actually issue um, an arrest on him. Well, he has the right to behave however he wants. However okay. he behaves, I wouldn't say he has done wrongly or he has done the right thing. But like you say, you asked specifically like you were to be me, would I honor that invitation? I will. Okay. Yeah. I will just to fulfill all righteousness. Okay. But the, the, the most interesting um, question I, 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 that, that is actually biting now is, why would his name be mentioned in cases like this? Well, yeah, just like during the protest, the, the just completed protest that mm. happened, I, I, there are some cases, okay, I think there were, before the protest, I think they did to the protest, mm. they, started, they started mentioning Peter Opi okay. as the co-founder and the okay. organizer of the protest, do you get? Mm -hmm. And they were unable to find anything on him. Okay. Now they are looking for all... What I just feel like they are trying to do is tarnish the image of those who are trying to uphold the remains of okay. this country. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's endless that is trying to fight for the masses. Okay. So if they cannot focus on other things troubling us, like the forest scarcity that mm. is ongoing, mm. the NNPC going on and, and thought about producing and not producing mm. oils, why go on and... Like, I still don't understand the foundation of this investigation. Okay, okay. Do you well, understand? May I ask yes. a question? The terrorism they're talking about, what terrorism exactly? Now, that is it. This is what is affecting Nigeria. And uh, obviously, that's, that's a huge question now. This is the, the same terrorism that started um, the days of Good Luck Ebele Jonathan. We've had uh, Mohammed Dubari come and left. Now we have Tinibu. And all of a sudden, they are, they are arresting. Um, they, this man just stepped into office barely, should I say, four years back. And they, they are tagging the, uh, the, the act of financing 
terrorism to him. Why does NLC have the money to finance then all his zip? Okay. Like, no, 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 is he no. fighting against the country or they are fighting against the bad no, 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 On no. what grounds? No, so no, what, no. See, what did they see? Because exactly if they are actually if they are actually financing the terrorists mm. to fight against bad government, okay. we know that they have a solid plan. Uh, okay, solid okay, reason. okay. But I still know why they will be fighting. But but see, at, at this point, I feel the, the the police force are not are not pointing it to um. NLC as, as a body, but they are pointing it to the president. The president is Comrade the body Joe. because he's representing the NLC. Okay, so okay, so at, I, at this point, you're you you of the opinion that they, they, they if, are accusing if, NLC. If, yes, if it was okay. just him, mm. they would have gone for an investigation, call him for an investigation, okay. just like they are doing now. Okay. That should be the first thing. Not yeah. going to raid the institution and make arrests. Okay. Do you get me? Okay. So like this now, they are targeting the NLC as a whole, not just the president, okay. but because they are singling him in out. As the head. As the head. Yes, because okay. once you get the head, you get the body. Hmm. All right. Obviously. Let, let, let's see how this story gets to uh, play out at the end of today. Now, uh, quickly, Virtue, lastly, I want you to look at page 7. It says, end bad governance protests. Now, we're taking our minds back to what happened, uh, just, should I say, uh, barely two weeks ago. It yeah. says, CEOs call for release of Angel and, and others that were arrested during the protest. During the protest. Now, the, the, the question here is, was it actually healthy for um, pol police now to actually carry out our, our security agencies that were meant, uh, re regardless of the fact that River State here was very peaceful, there was no, uh, we, we didn't have those hitches just like what we had in the north. Yeah. Now, do you think it was, it was okay to actually carry out this arrest on hungry men, hungry protesters? So, they arrested protesters? Yes, they arrested some protesters. And now, most CEOs are calling for their release. Why did they arrest them? Were they doing anything different from what others were doing? Okay, that, that's a question. At, at this point now, we, we, that's, that, that's when we point back <laughs> to, the, uh, to our security agency. Because we, 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 we saw clips of um, some, some persons uh, stating, okay, I don't want to start mentioning names, but the, the guy is very popular, very dark man, showing uh, clips of, um, of, um, uh, of some persons sponsoring uh, the protest against protest. And yeah. so some persons were, were actually being paid to carry out this, this menace. Now, uh, at, at this point now, where some persons were, were arrested, did you think uh, they're actually tagging the, the protest, the um, peaceful protest that we had, so something bad? Because uh, most Nigerians have the opinion that federal government are trying to paint the um, protest that just ended as something negative because they were, never, uh, they were never in support of it. So now, regarding this particular arrest, do you think it was healthy that at the point when Nigerians were exercising their civil rights, Obviously not. Okay. I mean, protesting is not a crime. Okay. It's not illegal. Yeah, it's in the Nigeria, constitution. it's in the constitution that civilians are allowed to protest, right? Especially when you're not happy with the way things are going. Yeah, the surely. Unless, so unless those people that got arrested were causing havoc, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe trying to steal or trying to harm others. But if they were just simply protesting, of course, it was absolutely wrong for them to get arrested. Okay. Honestly, like they should release them. All right. Okay, so what, 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 what's your take behind this arrest and the persons that we... It, just like the, 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 the NLCs that are crying now. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks as if our, our police, are, our, our Nigerian police force are, are of, this, of this attitude of randomly making arrests when, when, when it's, things it's, happen. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's joblessness. Let's just put okay. it like that. When okay. they become jobless, okay. that's when they start looking for what to do. Okay. Because <laughs> if they focus on the things bothering us, mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. This shouldn't be a problem okay. to them. We yeah. shouldn't be talking about this right now. You arrested. Okay, let's take for instance, let's assume more that those protesters probably tried to damage properties okay. or things. Because I know they won't go as far as taking lives. Mm. Let's say they, they, they tried to damage properties. You arrest them, detain them. The protest is over. Why not release them? Okay. Uh, 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 the security okay. are there to ensure that the protest was a peaceful one. That okay. is what they were sent out okay. to do. They didn't send them to make any arrest. Okay. But let's say you did that as regarding that some protesters went as far as damaging property okay. and you detained them. It is time for you to let them go. Okay. Do, yeah. do, do, do you think they are going to let them go without bail? This is Nigeria. They should let them go without bail. It's, it's not like we are pleading or we are begging them okay. to release. Okay. They should let them go without bail. Mm. It's not, not something I should start calling the NBA okay. to start backing, the, uh, backing them up. For, because mm -hmm. uh, the Nigerian police... Uh, mm -hmm. It's, it's a total different system in the country. Okay. When I say corruption, mm. it's the Nigerian police. All right, thank the Nigerian you. Nigerian police is the corruption. All right, thank you very much. Now, lastly, be, be, before I let you go, 
how has the past one year been in Tinimut administration? No hard speech. <laughs> Your facial expression is already not telling good. How has it been, like, regardless of what people are saying, you as a person? Maybe your you case will be different. In every situation, there are people that benefit. Okay, surely. In as much as there are people that have benefited so much, mm -hmm. there are people that are claiming that Tinubu has done a whole lot. Okay, yeah. People that, that if you ask them, that they start listing things, they feel that Nigeria has been able to achieve mm -hmm. or how Nigeria has improved mm -hmm. ever since Tinubu came. But the truth is that we cannot deny the fact that things have become terribly difficult because okay. if not why would there be a nationwide protest in the first place okay the fact that there was a nationwide protest mm, not it tells that enough is enough okay it's yeah. not as if there was any time the country was so good it's just like it's getting worse okay so it's just like this regime made everything worse mm. and now we cannot take it anymore okay so that's basically what is what happening the condition of this country all right everyone is complaining all right <laughs> now i'm um, let's you know look as if we are attacking the federal government on our show yeah what has been um just one achievement of this administration that you can attest to as a Nigerian. Sorry, boss. Ah, Jesus, this, this chair. <laughs> sorry, now, sorry. Let me do this. They pay. They pay now. They manage. They manage. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. All right so, now. Um, one achievement. Mm. <laughs> oh uh, mm. Just know, scan the, through. Yeah. We are with the local masses there. Eh? Mm. We don't see that which we are doing up there as an achievement because okay. it doesn't get to us. Okay. The achievement we are looking for right now is bring down the cost of fuel. Okay. Once that is done, it's going to literally affect everything Every around aspect. us. Okay. Transportation, feeding, um, daily lives and the rest of it, it's going to affect it. Now they have done like I think he has gone to the point that he has done so many things when it comes to that upper hand. Mm -hmm. I, but then the masses are affected. Mm, the effect is not there. So we are giving kudos to the, 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 the current regime and the president for what they are doing because so far they, they've gone down the local government autonomy to them. Um, and so many other things that I can't mention of which I think, thank you, but it is not good enough. Mm, okay. It is not good enough. Now we are having challenges of the, 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 the president um, or let's open state, but since it's the open state, it's now the country itself. Okay. Having challenges with the Chinese government as regarding debts or contracts, mm. businesses that were not finished or were breached. Now it is now affecting us. Something they did far back that has nothing to do with us. Now since we are 2001. Now we are not suffering. Okay. So you can imagine this. So the, the, the best thing there is, please, we are pleading to the government. Okay. You have done your best, but your mm. best is not good enough. Okay. Bring it down to our own level where right. it is going to favor the local masses. Right. In the sense that all we are pleading is, bring down the... If it's going back to put subsidies to the floor, please mm. do it. Okay. Yes, because you send me 20, uh, 20 trucks of uh, uh, rice to each state. I did not get one, not even one cup of rice, not even a half cup. Okay. Now you're saying that you, you granted loans to different schools. I've graduated, I did not get any loan. Mm. So these are so many things I feel like virtually we the local masses, we the Nigerians are not seeing. We are only hearing okay. that this has been approved, this has been approved. So as you see, I, I heard that core members are not to participate or to partake in the in the 70k minimum wage. Why? They are the federal government body. So if the, the uh, Director General of NYS is saying that they've not been given permission to do so, mm. what are you waiting for? Do you feel like the NYSE or the core members do not deserve to get in from that minimum wage? Okay. There are thousands of youths suffering in different locations, meaning that that extricate of paying them does not even carry them to anywhere. Virtually okay. some people say that they don't have no kind of transportation to their PPAs and bring them back home. And you're not giving them less hope that they are not going to partake in 70,000 is very wrong. Mm. So these are the things we should look into. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to do. But please remember that we are the ones affected. Okay. Whatever decisions you take up there, the after not, effect, yeah, the after effect is, is coming down oh, to, the, to the local masses. Okay. So please and please, that is all we are begging to the okay. federal government. Mm. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Fetch you, your parting words to Nigerians. Just, in, 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 you know of late, uh, Nigerians don't like advice. Yeah. Don't, like what, don't like what she's saying now. Nigerians don't like advice. But your parting words 
to our dearest nation, Nigeria. Is there hope? That's what I was just about to say. Okay, <laughs> okay. Just have hope. Okay. <laughs> That's the only thing we have now. Hope. Right. hope in God, though, not hope in the country. All right. Thank you very much. I really had an awesome time with both of you. Yeah. To my right, I had Virtue Irizondo, and to my left, I had Antonio Luchuku. All right, this is all we'll be taking regarding the headlines that are making rounds this very day. Remember, you also can be part of this show. Why not slide to our comment section? Subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. Let's see your reactions regarding what we have discussed here. If you're not okay with what we have said, come on, slide to our comment sessions and drop your reactions. My name is Ayo Kemen, and this has been the Newspaper Review here on TAF TV. See you next time.